Okay, in this video, I'm going to move on from introducing vectors and I'm going to talk about adding and subtracting them and multiplying and dividing by scalars. So first of all, remember, a, vec a vector has magnitude and it also has direction. Magnitude is the, the number associated with it, how big or tall, for example, something is, how long it is. Uh, also, direction. Everything must have a direction. So, for example, you might have this vector here at an angle of theta from the x-axis. So it has a direction. You write a, a vector. We'll say the vector t. You write a vector by either having a line underneath it, an arrow on top, or a squiggly line underneath it. Pick one of the three. So for example, the magnitude, say this is vector t, well then the magnitude of the vector t is written by just putting straight brackets. So that's the magnitude of the vector t. The vector t could have a direction of theta. Its magnitude might be 10 units and you'd write it there like that. So that's just, uh, that is just a quick recap on vectors. Now, Adding and subtracting vectors, why do you want to do that? Well, basically, if you have a lot of forces, we'll say, acting on a person, on anything, sorry, on anything. Remember I had this diagram and I had a force here and a force here like this and all these sorts of things happening. And you really, you don't want to be dealing with 5, 6, 10, 20 different forces or different actions happening. You'd prefer just to have one. And what you can do is, you can find out the overall effect of a series of vectors by adding them or subtracting them. That's what you can do. So instead of having, we'll say in this case, four, you might have one vector. Now, I don't know what it is in this case, but you might have one vector maybe pointing this direction. So that would mean that this man is actually going to fall over. But anyway, that's why you would add or subtract them. So how do you do it? Well, say I have a vector A and a vector b. Now, how to add a plus b is quite simple. To add two vectors, you put the tail, this part here, of the second vector on the head of the first. So, remember vectors can be moved around, so this vector is also the vector a. So you put the tail of b on the head of a like that. And you draw from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second. I'm going to draw a dotted line. You don't need to do that, but I'm just doing that just for clarity. And you've got the arrow going that direction. So this vector here would be A plus B. A plus B is the resultant vector. And A and B are the component vectors. So the vector a plus b is made up of the component vectors a and b. Let's do another one. We'll say this is c and that's d. So if I want d plus c, I draw d, draw the first vector, Put the tail of the second vector on the head of the first. So these are the two component vectors. And draw from the tail of the first to the head of the second your resultant vector, which in this case is d plus c. That means that the two vectors d and c put together is equivalent of a single vector going in this direction called d plus c, like that. Very simple. How do you subtract them? Well, in order to subtract them, you need to know what a minus vector is. So say this is the vector a. Then in order to get the vector minus a, put the head on the opposite side. So remember, this is also the vector a, because it's parallel and of the same length. So to get minus a, just turn this around like that, and that becomes the vector minus a. Very simple. So if I have A and I have B, 
what is minus a plus b? Draw minus a. That's minus a. Draw b. Put the head, sorry, the tail of b and the head of a, and draw your resultant vector here. So the component vectors minus a and b together give you minus a plus b in that direction. The resultant vector is equivalent to the two added together, like that. Okay? Now, what if you have many vectors? What if we have a, let's draw them, a, b, c, and d. Like that. Sorry, I couldn't see that. So, what if I want c plus um, c plus a plus b minus d? So, I draw c first of all. So, c is like this. And I'll label them in the moment just because it's, it's easier to do it. There's c. Then I draw a. So, I put the tail of a on the head of c like this. Then I add b, put the tail of b on the head of c, and then plus d, uh, it's actually minus d, so it's the opposite this way, it's going like this. So you have a, this one was, sorry, that was, excuse me, that was c, a, b, minus d, and your resultant vector goes from the tail of the first to the head of the last vector. So your resultant vector looks like that. So it's basically, that's your resultant vector, c plus a plus b minus d. Now, algebra is important with these things. So, for example, if I had a vector a, b, and c like this if i want to add a plus b plus c this you shouldn't it this isn't the same as a plus b plus c it's not the same cuz look at the order we're adding c to the resultant vector a plus b so let's do that draw a and b there's a b and there's my resultant vector this is a plus b so there's a plus b like that plus c this is a plus b c there's the resultant vector a plus b plus c okay just a matter of interest. Uh, okay, that, no, that's all I'll do about that. So the order is very important. Remember, a resultant vector is made up of component vectors. It is equivalent and easier to deal with your resultant vectors. Um, okay, so that's adding and subtracting vectors, and uh, adding and subtracting many vectors. So, what's a scalar? Now remember, a vector has both magnitude and direction. So a scalar, just magnitude. Sorry, you couldn't see that. A scalar has just magnitude, so it's just a number. So, for example, this is the vector d, sorry, that's the vector d, this is the scalar d. The vector a, the scalar a. It's just a number. Now, if you want to multiply by a scalar, it's very simple. We'll, we'll say we have, that, we have a, a scalar called k is equal to 10 units, and we'll call a vector a, and we'll draw the vector a like this. Uh, no, actually, how about this? We'll say the vector a is equal to 
um, 10 units northwest. Okay, that means that k times a is equal to 10 times 10 units northwest is equal to 100 units northwest. So basically, multiplying by scalars is the exact same as just multiplying your vector by a number. The magnitude of your vector by the number. It does not change your direction. So say, for example, sorry, that's northeast. So say, say this is the vector a going northwest of uh, 10 units. Well then, 10 times that, look, it's no point drawing it, but 10 times this might be this. So k, that might be k times the vector a. This might be the vector a like that. Similarly, dividing, you just divide. So we'll say this scalar s is equal to a half, then s times a is equal to 5. Just multiply your vector, the magnitude of your vector, by the scalar. It's very simple. So I'll do one final example then, where I'm adding and subtracting many vectors and multiplying and dividing by scalars. So we have the vector a B, C, D. And I want to get uh, A, A minus B plus 4C and uh, minus D over 2. So we draw A, like that, A is unchanged, minus B is this direction, like that, plus 4C, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 4C, and minus 2D. So, my, sorry, minus d over 2. So, d over 2 might be this way, like that. In actual fact, I'm just going to draw one of these vectors bigger, just for clarity. We'll say this is 4c. What's it make that? Um, 8c. And then, minus d over 2. So your resultant vector goes from the head of the first, uh, oh, I drew that wrong, sorry. Look, this A here, oh, sh excuse me. Just very quickly, I'll do that again. Sorry, I'm, I'm spotting my mistake. So A is this way, minus B, put the tail of B on the head of A, like that, minus 8, or plus 8C, brings me down here minus d over 2. Draw your resultant vector from the head of a, sorry, from the tail of a to the head of your last one. There it is there. So all of those vectors put together is equivalent to this vector here. So that's how to add and subtract vectors and multiply and divide by scalars. Thanks for watching. I hope it is helpful. Please uh, like it if you like, uh, pass it on to your friends and please subscribe to my channel.